Leo, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and we are going to do your weekly tarot reading for December 25th all the way to December 31st. Yep, that's right. Christmas to New Year's. Welcome all my Leos, kings and queens. Yes, it's the last reading of the year, so we're going to get some intuitive guidance. We're going to let the cards tell us exactly what's going on here. How can we navigate this week? How can we close out the year? Tighten up some loose ends and start fresh. We've got a lot of astrological things going on at the end of the week that is going to move things forward. So let's see how the cards reflect that. So welcome, Leo. Welcome. Let's go. All right. Look at that. Yeah. Um, hold on. What are we doing here? Okay. So, Leo, welcome. We've got Eight of Cups, walking away from something, walking away from the past to a brighter solution, a brighter horizon. We've got the hangman. We are not stuck in a situation, something we've been waiting for, you know, sitting there waiting for the right time. It is the right time to let this go. Trust your intuition. Give it to the universe. Get in touch with your emotions. Feel it and release it. And then we've got the king of wands energy. This is you. This is coming out stronger, determined, focused. King and queen of the jungle. No doubt about that, Leo. Whatever you are thinking of letting go, the timing is right. Let's see exactly what else this has to say. It's, that's very vague, very general. Of course, it's a general reading, but we're going to get some clarifiers and see exactly what's going on here. You know, it's a good thing that we're moving out of stuck, stuck energy and moving into a more empowering energy. However, that three of wands is like waiting for the right moment. We're waiting. We don't want to wait for anything. It's time to move forward with determination. Maybe waiting is the problem. So let's see. Let's get some clarifiers. Wow, this just jumped out. First of all, the cards that they want to show you is the Ace of Swords, a new way of thought, a new beginning. This is triumph. This is you triumphing over your thoughts. Walking away from something clears your mind. And we're trying to balance something out here. You know, we've got the Two of Pentacles trying to weigh out the options, you know, that kind of stalls us in this energy. However, there's a new beginning, Ace of Wands. This is fire energy, getting our passion back, moving out of this situation that seems to be on hold. And the Three of, the three of Cups, stepping into your energy celebration. This is celebrating at the end of the week. Ten of Pentacles is a payoff of big, big time, big time, big time. Also see a relationship here, of course, uh, with the Three of Cups, there's just things moving here. And the Ten of Pentacles is improved finances, feeling secure, ready to go into the new year, closing out this cycle. That's very good. Very empowering. Lots of change and embracing change and celebrating change and knowing that change is necessary. Wow, let's get some Psychic Tarot, some Oracles. All right, look at that, the waiting game. That Three of Wands energy, another two. So we've got this, it's a waiting game, you know? And the waiting game is something that is divine timing, but it's going to pay off. There is a payoff here. We need to sacrifice. Again, that's, you know, that's judgment. That is let this go. Sacrifice these thoughts. Walk away from them in your solitude, in your wisdom. You come up with a better solution and all you have left is hope. And when you put hope into the mix, 
The divine moves things to you. You've been spiritually tested this year. And I think it starts to pay off. Let's get some oracles from the Prism Oracle deck and see what they have to say. Very good. Very good for closing out the year. Okay, there we go. We got them. Thank you. All right. Jesus. <laughs> all right. First of all, they wanted to show you stop. Stop with all this. Stop having your past completely come up. Stop thinking you've been ghosted. Hold hope. It's a waiting game. Abundance. That's all you need to focus on. There's going to be plenty of abundance towards the end of the week and going into the new year. We have... We have... Uh, Jupiter, the planet of abundance, finally moving direct on December 30th. Mercury goes direct starting January 1st. Things start to move forward. The waiting game may be over. Let's find out. You f See, I think it's what it is, is stop waiting and focus on you. Be determined to do the things you need to do. You know, it's... It's like you can't keep checking the, the crock pot. You know it's going to be done. It's going to take some time. So set it and forget it, you know, and, and move into this abundance energy. Where are your thoughts going with you, Leo? Where are they going? Are they serving you? Or are they, or are they stalling you? You know what I'm saying? Let's look at relationships. Wow, we got the Ten of Pentacles again. So that's clarified. Focus on you getting it. We got the nine of swords. Stop with the anxiety. Walk away from that. Free yourself. Ten of wands shows that you're moving forward. That's three tens. Okay. Ten, ten. Pay attention to those numbers. But it's, it's time to walk away. It's time to walk away from these thoughts that engage you. It's time to stop focusing on the lack and start focusing on the abundance and moving towards that, releasing the burden of your thoughts. Hmm. I can relate to that. I can totally relate to that because I have Scorpio rising. I'm a Leo and I have Scorpio rising. So I'm constantly in my head analyzing and dissecting and trying to figure out the mystery and, you know, totally losing sight of that. So let's get some messages of love oracles and see what they have to say about relationships. Wow, look at that. Abundance. You're being, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. 10, 10, 10. Abundance. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Leo, you are protected. You are safe and divinely guided. So stop with the negative thoughts. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Mm. Mm. Like I'm saying, you know, there's something going on here. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Open up to it. Trust the universe. Be determined. You know, there's, there's a plan right here for this week, guys. There's a plan here. Trust it. Because this is definitely letting this go, this burden, this mental burden of you trying to figure things out and just trusting the universe because the abundance, the relationship is going to pay off. If you, if you hold the vision in your mind, you'll hold it in your hand. And a lot of you are going to be holding it in your hand. You know what I'm saying? Fingers crossed. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Leo, let's get an ending oracle message for the end of the year. What do we have for all my beautiful Leos? What do we need to know? There it is. If I can just grab it. All right. It says, Leo, we got to make choice. There's a choice to be made. You're being asked to make a choice that you've been struggling with. The choice is letting go of this mental conflict you're in and just stepping into this beautiful abundant energy 
by correcting your thoughts, stopping them, using your wisdom. It's time to decide which path you're going to take. Listen to your intuition, eliminate everyone else's input, and feel your way into the choice that is right for you. The time is now. Have hope. Go slow. Know that it is the waiting game. Know that the universe is divinely setting the stage, but it can only do it for you, Leo, if you release the negative energy and find balance and make a choice by trusting your intuition and closing out the year, starting out with a great abundance and energy and security and protection. Leo, that is your end of the year reading. Thank you so much. Happy New Year and many blessings to you. And Leo, I will see you in 2024.